when it comes to that so what i was talking about like being pressured um to do like more and more things more hardcore things so there's two different main genres of porn there's gonzo porn which is the aggressive porn that you guys are talking about it's mm -hmm. the rough anal sex it's the choking it's and i'll go more into that and then there's um vanilla porn which is what olivia is talking about as um ethical porn is what i think you would consider yeah. um it's just like classic like missionary like just like basically like artsy sex. I was gonna say, wait, I'm kind of laughing the instant because I've had someone call me vanilla before. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I love vanilla. I'm like, why are you I so like vanilla? vanilla? I'm like, what do you mean? It makes me kind of hungry, but um, I like, I would, I've never even heard of the term gonzo to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So wow. gonzo is <clears throat> the, the first level of it, I would say would be just, it's just like, there's no like artistic vision to it it's just yeah. like rough hardcore sex mm -hmm. yeah. um and that could be vaginal penetration the next level up would be anal penetration in a gonzo style um and then there's a level far more than that and i would say that during my time in porn i'm not sure what is like the hype right now in porn it goes through like different phases mm -hmm. but during my short stint in porn um their really extreme acts were what was popular. And that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time, everyone wanted to make money off me. So they pushed me to do these things. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gets really extreme, like you were saying, abusive. Um, did you ever feel like, did you ever go through those experiences where you had to do a scene where it was very aggressive and you just felt like... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail like honestly some of my experiences are really humiliating for me and i wish that they never happened there's stuff going on like people getting pissed on men are pissing inside of women's vaginas assholes down their throats they're sorry oh <laughs> don't cry <laughs> Told me something negative. No, I'm crying. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> no, don't cry. I'm just okay. giving some examples. But no, that's honestly that's really hard. And I think like I had mentioned earlier, it's just so important for young men to stop viewing stop viewing women as sex objects because I believe that, you know, instilling that curriculum in school at a younger age. And they had actually said there's a fact that says that the more a young person had learned about the use of pornography from their school education or sex education is less likely to see women as sex objects. And I feel that's why, you know, I I feel so passionate about the porn industry because I don't believe that they should be showing those types of scenes because it does view women as just an object and it's not okay to do that. Like, I enjoy watching porn. Like, girl, well, like I, I, you know, but like, I wanna watch ethical porn. I want it to be normalized and I want it to be taught to where it shouldn't be to where a woman is being abused and yeah. is, you know, like the, the male is showing aggression because that actually is going to translate into his relationships with women in the future, his wife. Like mm -hmm. it's actually statistically proven that it's going to show aggression in a marriage and a relationship. And that's I mean, how is that healthy? Like, that's not healthy at all. Well, a yeah. lot of it is like young boys don't understand and they think that this is normal and that's what girls want. So they've probably never been with a girl before and they see these horrible things and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, this is how to please a girl. This is what I have to do. Yeah. This is what she wants. And then they, you know, do these things and they act certain ways and they don't yeah. realize the effects that they're having on women. Yeah. Well, they do say that serial killer and rapist are the ones who are consuming these extreme mm, types wow. of porns a lot of um serial killers when they've gone through their search history they're watching like these abusive porn and there's tons of mm -hmm. pornography on their search yeah. history i mean i'm not laptops. i'm not gonna lie i obviously like i said i've watched porn i do yeah i mean well, there's, there's, stumbled... there's nothing wrong with watching <laughs> yeah porn. but yeah. i've stumbled upon some videos where i'm not gonna lie i really questioned why is this even allowed on mm -hmm. the internet like yeah. i felt very like i was just turned off yeah. i was like shut my laptop like i can't even look at this i was like i cannot believe that this is okay like this yeah. is not okay to yeah. treat women like this yeah well i i know that i got emotional but i do want to continue giving examples mm -hmm. of some of those things just so people know um what are but what were some of the things that you saw that you were like wow this is really crazy yeah i mean th there was one scene where i had seen um obviously the the male was having sex with a girl and um she was literally crying because he was being so aggressive. Like, I guess, you know, he was just too big for her. I mean, mm -hmm. she was like full blown crying mm -hmm. and he was like slapping her like you like that. Like, you know, I was just yeah. like, 
oh my god how can this tur-? like i could not get off to this so i don't know who watches this to some people have that fetish and it's crazy yeah, and that's it's why they put it out there because they're like oh somebody will watch it which is just like yeah no offense but like that's disgusting because obviously she's not okay yeah yeah and i mean to me it's just it really makes me sad because i think of the girl and i think wow like i can just see it in her eyes that she did not want to do this scene but she's doing it because of the reasons of, you know, she needs the money or this is a flexible yeah. job for her right now. She was convinced, she was pressured, you know, she was manipulated into doing this by her agent because he, you know, told her like, it's either this way or the highway. Like, I can't even imagine how that girl felt having to do something that she clearly does not want to do. Like, there, this is not acting, like she's full blown crying. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, there's just no way she's acting and enjoying this, so. Yeah. No, I've had friends who have been choked out so much that they've actually passed out during a scene. Um, there's really just like crazy stuff going on that damages people's bodies for the rest of their lives. Mm-hmm. I luckily don't have any issues, but I've seen scenes shot in Europe where guys are literally punching into a girl's asshole like this and like she's going to have issues for the rest of her yeah, life yeah. due to this. And is it worth someone making a little bit of money and someone jerking off to it. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the worst, honestly, I feel like I'm in denial sometimes and I can't accept some of the things that I've done. There is one thing that, you know, I tried talking to a therapist about before something that I had to do for a scene that was really rough for me. Um, Basically, this guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it. And then he like pissed in the bowl. And during the scene, he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting, foul scenes I ever had to do. And I'm telling a therapist this and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. Yeah. No one can relate. Like no one fucking knows what to say about it. And so when it obviously, so obviously I don't know how like porn is shot. They don't tell you beforehand does this, did they tell this guy to, ha- to do these things or did he just my in agent, his own brain This one my decide? agent was actually very pissed about. Okay. And again, like, I'm not saying that I was raped. Mm. I But you were put in the spot. You were I, put, yeah, I told pressure. this guy like, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. I just, I didn't know how to say no. I, yeah. I didn't, I just wanted everyone to be happy. So it's, I can't blame anyone. All that I can do now is make the best of yeah. my experiences yeah. and accept it, which is really hard for me to do. Um, sorry, what was your question again? Um, I mean, no, like, I think you pretty much answered my question, (laughs) but no, I was just gonna, you know, um, chime in and say about how you had to do something that, you know, you didn't want to do, or you felt pressured. I definitely can relate to that just even by like working at Hooters. I know me and you have worked there. I obviously have a little longer history of that. And, you know, I definitely was a sex object. Like that's who I was viewed as working Mm -hmm. at Hooters. Clearly I was the complete opposite of that. But, you know, I definitely was pressured into some things that I didn't want to do with men. Um, they had the audacity to ask me to literally go give them a hand job behind the dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, I'm sorry, that's, it's not funny, but no, it's, it's, like, it's like comical. It's comical. It's behind a dumpster. No, I was really thinking, first off, why not at least the car? Yes. <laughs> like a dumpster. Second off, can you imagine you're at a restaurant and you have the audacity <laughs> to look at your Sweetie, waiter? Really waiters, what do you mean? After, I don't give a fuck. Fin- after I finish my chicken tenders, can you go jerk me off behind this dumpster? Yeah, oh, my you know, God. But they would they would push my limits. Like, they would just kind of like joke around at first. Or like, oh, we, um, and they I'll give you a hundred. And they touchy sometimes, too, no? Yeah, and you you know, they were like, oh, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you take off your panties for me. And, you know, I was vulnerable. I was young. I was like, oh, like no harm. Like, okay. Like he just wants my panties. Like, heck yeah. A hundred dollars. Like that's they're going to my keep, bill. They're going to be like, how yeah, much, they kept pushing how and, put me up, and once they like put you on the spot, like it's so hard to like say no. And you feel so awkward because you don't want to one ruin a relationship with a client who yeah. comes into Hooters every single day, okay. who is basically paying your bills, mm-hmm. who's tipping you, you know, too, you don't want to piss them off to where they're going to go say something. So, you know, I, I definitely can relate on the pressure thing and I can I can definitely understand how you felt like being put in a situation that you did not know you're going to be put in because it mm-hmm. is so hard to get out of that. So, you know, like I definitely understand sex workers and the porn industry a lot more just because I've had personal experiences that I can relate to. Yeah.